I didn't come here to teach. I didn't create this channel to teach you anything. I came here to have a discussion about ultimate reality and walking through it as it, which is the enlightened self, the self of all being. Ola asks, let's talk about how to meditate and how to be enlightened. Well, first off, I don't know how to be enlightened. It's just something that is or apparently happens to the illusion of mind. When that dissipates, we would call that enlightenment. When the illusion of a separate self completely dissipates, Getting distracted by butterflies here. <laughs> when the illusion of self completely dissipates, we'd call that liberation or enlightenment. And that's not something that you can do or force upon yourself. Because this is the negation of the doer, of the sense of doership. But how to meditate is a good question to address. And it really starts with noticing that you're not your thoughts. And to prove this to you right now, notice the next thought that comes. And notice that it's not you or that it's somehow, there's somehow a distance between the one who watches a thought arise and subside and the thought itself. Notice that distance. Now wait for the next thought. And when it comes to the same thing, just notice it. Notice the distance. Notice the gap between the thought itself and the witness. And as you continue to do that, kind of like mental repetitions of that practice, soon it becomes just like an effortless knowing that anything that arises in your mind is not who you are. That eventually evolves quite naturally into these thoughts that arise in mind aren't referring to or talking about a me. And instead, it's just being generated by the universe almost either arbitrarily or just spontaneously, really. And so who are they talking about? Who are these thoughts talking about? Who are they in reference to? And posing that question is the beginning of self-inquiry, which I would say is one of the best methods, if you can call it that, into self-realization or self-discovery. It's one of the ways in which we can trigger an awakening. And much like enlightenment, an awakening isn't something you gain. It's when the filter of mind dissolves and you see reality as purely what it is. And furthermore, you see the self as purely what it is. And you recognize that those are the same thing and there's no distinguishing characteristics between self and everything. Somehow that then naturally evolves into the recognition that everything is self. And when that becomes just direct gnosis, I'd call that enlightenment. 
So I'm not exactly sure where you are on this apparent progression. But if you're in the beginning stages, just notice your thoughts and notice that they're not you. The rest from there, as long as you're earnest, honest with yourself, and willing to look deeply into your direct experience will evolve quite naturally for you. If you need any more help, or if anybody needs any more help, comment on this video, and I'll either comment directly or even maybe make a new video. So thanks for continuing to comment, and thank you for continuing the dialogue, because that's why Wild Satsang was created. I didn't come here to teach. I didn't create this channel to teach you anything. I came here to have a discussion about ultimate reality and walking through it as it, which is the enlightened self, the self of all being, the single light of existence. All my love.